Hey church, my name is Chip Kendall, and I'm part of the missions team at Audacious Church. Really committed to our central campus, but they send me all over to all the different locations and campuses. So you've probably seen me leading worship or leading mission. That's something I'm super passionate about. Hey, listen, we're kicking off a whole new series about our favorite Bible characters. Now, technically, my favorite Bible character has already been chosen, David, so hashtag just saying. Uh, I had to choose a different one, but that's okay. Because those of you who saw all of our Easter stuff that we did, you know, whether it was the schools tour, 43 primary schools, what, three different teams. We also did an original musical at Audacious Church in our central location called What's It All About? in Manchester, and man, we're going to see that replicated across loads of different things in the the coming months and years to come. But uh, I want to talk about Peter, because I got to play the part of Peter. I had had to write songs from his perspective, I had to act his part, and I did a lot of studying into the life of Peter. Now, I don't know if you've thought about how much emotion Peter went through from Palm Sunday, the week before Jesus dies and is risen again, right up through to the resurrection. I mean, there is so much that goes on. And um, this devotional, I wanted to just focus on that little week because, I mean, he goes from being super excited to welcome Jesus into the city as the Messiah, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, all that, straight down to like, what is Jesus doing? I mean, he, he, you know, basically gets betrayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter gets really angry, angry enough to chop off the Roman soldier's ear. We read about that in the Bible. Um, you know, then it's just that utter disgust and horror that actually Jesus would go off with them. And, and then eventually Peter denies Jesus. He says, you know, I'll never deny you. And then he does it. And, and um, yeah, that, what, what kind of guilt was he feeling in that? What kind of jealousy of the other disciples or anything? We, we don't really know. But the story is pretty clear that it was an emotional roller coaster for him. Then, of course, watching Jesus die. I mean, his best friend that he'd committed so many years to. What, what was that like for him to experience? And, and then, of course, the pure joy of seeing Jesus come back to life. Now, I know that we haven't all had that same kind of relationship with Jesus, but we've all experienced extreme emotions. And in today's devotional, I wanted us just to remind ourselves that our faith is not based on emotion. This is just part of of life that we go through ups and downs. But the fact is that Jesus is the cornerstone. He is the rock. He is the foundation. He nicknames Peter the rock. Do you remember? And then Peter's the one who steps up on the day of Pentecost to preach the gospel. And loads of people get saved and added to the church. And I want to be like Peter. I want to be somebody who doesn't uh, get swayed by his emotions you know, even denying Jesus, like some people have likened that to uh, Judas. And, you know, Judas denied him, he betrayed him, gave him up, and it didn't end so well for Judas. Do you remember? But Peter stuck it out. He actually stuck it out. And in the end, Jesus redeems him. He has that restoration moment where he says, Peter, do you love me? He asks him three times. And Peter says, yes, of course, you know I love you. Jesus says, feed my sheep. And I believe that God has something unique to call all of us to uh, in this moment. If we won't give in to emotion, uh, emotions are normal, it's fine, it's all good, but actually we will stick it out and we will put our faith in something greater than just our emotions, but in Jesus. So let me pray for you and I hope you have a great day. Lord Jesus, I thank you for anybody watching this video to the end. Whatever life circumstances they're in, Uh, maybe some difficult situations, or maybe they're having a great time, I pray that their faith would not be based on emotion, but actually it would be about so much deeper, a friendship with you. Lord, if they don't know you, I pray that they would know you better. If they already know you, I just pray that you would do great things in them and through them, just like you did with Peter, even above and beyond uh, anything they could ask or imagine. Thank you, Jesus, for the way that I've seen you work through my life in so many ways. Would you do that for the people watching this right now? and give them a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Love you loads. See you soon.